<laughs> so many new subscribers and so few of you have met the Ultra Banana and his cheeks are ripe and circular and hard because he too wants a brand new ban list. We're not even 24 hours into, well actually we are 24 hours into the brand new Ishizu tier zero tier element format where everyone's crying their tears while they drink and they sprite while they're playing their sprite decks because Ishizu tier is the new brand new tier zero deck. Say hello to the Ultra Banana because he is so happy and hard for a brand new ban list. <laughs> People already want a new ban list. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Wee! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, AvrielR32 here, and smash the ever-living boo-boo stain out of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond into the 1K ladder. So, everybody is talking about, we want a new ban list, we want a new ban list, it's a tier zero format, we need emergency ban list. Side note, thank you all so much for all of the support, we're currently sitting at 1,010 subscribers, and, uh... In all seriousness, no, we ain't getting a new ban list. If we get a new ban list or like an emergency ban list or an adjusted list, as they did back in the day with uh, Pepe, uh, the deck, you know, the, the pendulum crap, uh, <laughs> like then we might see something like that. Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, tier zero formats in all seriousness help fix a lot of issues in the format. You know, obviously the brand new mill cards are an issue. The tier element cards in general are an issue. And by having this tier zero format and having so many decks playing this, like these cards, we will see massive hits on our next ban list. Now, when in all reality, can we expect a new ban list? My prediction is that probably some point in January or February, we'll get a new ban list. Because remember, we don't get Photon Hypernova until February, which I may be getting a case of also. Shameless plug, so you should subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. <laughs> um, so they want to sell that new product. Remember, in Photon Hypernova, we get the rest of the Cash Tira cards. So even though Tier Elements get that Tier Element Cash Tira monster, Cash Tira get all their brand new toys. So they're gonna be at full power, locking out all five of your monster zones, locking out all five of your back row, all of that fun stuff. And Konami wants to push that. That's not to say that Tier Elements can't be used in that deck, but the fact remains that a Shizu Tier Element is not gonna be the Tier Zero deck for like six to nine months. You know, thank God that we get a ban list every few months instead of like every six or every nine months. Like back when Dragon Rulers were tier zero, that was atrocious as hell because once the Dragon Rulers hit, we were still just like, Jesus Christ, we have to wait like nine months for this baby back bullshit to like go in the garbage, like literally. And it took multiple ban lists to actually take the Dragon Rulers out back and shoot them because First, they killed the baby dragons. Then, later on, they killed the big dragons, which finally put the deck to rest. But, like, that that wasn't, like, in three months. It was, like, okay, they're, like, four or five months old. We killed the baby dragons. Then we dealt with, like, another six to seven months of the big dragons running around. Then, it finally, like, 2014, a year after they came out, they shot them in the face. So, at least, like, we're not in a situation like that. You know what I mean? You know... We're going to see people innovate with tier elements. And what you have to keep in mind too, at least in my humble opinion, like I'm not the best player in the world, but in my humble opinion, tier elements are a very difficult deck to play. So when you're in a tier zero format, like yeah, anybody who's anybody is gonna probably be playing tier or they're gonna be playing like maybe Sprite and building their deck in such a way to beat tier. But what you need to keep in mind is that if everybody's playing the same deck in a tier zero format, you're going to be separating as the joke is like the boys from the men. Like everyone is going to be sitting here playing tier going full power nonstop. Then the really good players are going to be up here playing tier element. And that's really going to separate, like I said, the boys from the men, because you're going to have those players that play the deck because it's the best deck in the room. They're not going to know what the fuck they're doing. Then you're going to have people who really know what they're doing. 
and they're going to be just stomping booty cheeks in like all the way across the planet. Like all y'all in the EU who, if you heard me talk British, which it probably sounds like this, and uh, I don't really talk British all that well, uh, you probably don't hear an American say booty booty butt cheeks very good. And this is probably the first time you've ever heard someone in your country say that about tear element because uh, y'all have different rarities over there. We have a Gravekeeper's Trap Secret Rare and y'all have an Ultra Rare on over there. And I probably sound like an Australian idiot at, that, at this point. Or I sound like Harry Potter who's constipated. <laughs> Like, seriously, all, all jokes aside, I just wanted to use a European voice to shout out all my European viewers. Um, <laughs> all jokes aside, like, look, tear is going to go away. It's it's going to go, like, into the corner where no one wants to deal with it. You know, it's it's like when Spiral was tier zero. For those of you who didn't play in Spiral tier zero format, I had kind of taken a break from the game during that time because I had just gotten a full-time job. But... What we saw was innovations, and what we saw at the end of the era of Spiral being Tier 0, we saw the deck got taken out back and shot. They banned Master Plan. I think they even banned Resort. They put Quick Fix to 1 because it was basically a Lone Fire Blossom. Like, they decimated the deck with multiple hits, and we're going to see that on our next ban list. But don't get your hopes up. Like, I see some people doing online and on Reddit and crap like that. Where they're like, oh, they're going to drop an emergency balance because we saw this Ashizu tier that we saw with YCS. For those of you who didn't know, the top 32 at YCS Pasadena, 20, what was it, like 28 spots, 24 spots? I'm pretty sure it was like 28 spots were Ashizu tier. Then you get to top 16, 14 decks in the top 16 were tier. So already at top 32, you're at a tier zero format. Then once you hit top 16, <laughs> yeah, it's a tier zero format. And then once you hit top eight, you see a Bicele and a Flunder going against each other. Everything else is tier. And, uh, or excuse me, that was in top 16. Then you hit top eight, you've got like what? The one lone Bicele deck. Then you hit top four, the Bicele deck still hanging on for dear life. And then once you hit the top uh, two, it was just two Ishizu tier element decks. And... You know, I think that that should show in of itself that other decks can still compete. You know, if you play something like Sprite, going into this, what I'm going to call new format, you know, a format shift, you're still going to be able to do well. You're probably going to have to play a lot of Bicycle cards. You're going to have to play cards like, uh, what, Skullmeister? Like, you're going to have to play cards that specifically beat tier. And everyone's going to be doing that. You're either going to be playing tier or you're going to be playing a deck that is designed to beat tier. You know, when I played Crystal Beast at the Regional and I did terrible, we ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> Like, the deck was designed to beat Tier because I figured Tier was going to be the most represented deck in the room. Never went against Tier because our, never, our record never got that good to that point. But the concept still remained the same. You know, we were playing things like Necro Valley because Crystal Beast can abuse it. D Shifter because Crystal Beast can use it. The Buy Steel cards because they're just good, you know. And once we get Photon Hypernova, which I'm sure Tier is going to be hit by that point, we're going to see um, the Buy Steel Baldrake card, which is like basically another Druid Worm or Magnemite. And you're going to see the Cash Tier cards come to the fray. You're going to see another evolution of both Tier and the game in general. You're going to see the Power Creep explode again. And it's it's going to just continue to evolve the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, you know, if you're pissed off about this format, I get it. You know, it is, I would argue, a very difficult format. It's skill intensive in the sense of you need to make sure that you're using your trigger effects correctly, um, which is a very, uh, I guess, skill heavy thing and making sure that you do them all in the correct order. Um, but I can also see where, you know, especially if you just go to locals, like I have a couple of friends who just do locals every couple of weeks, that it's not going to be a fun time for you because every round you're going to be hitting tier or you're going to hit the one dude in the room trying to counter everybody with Exo Sister. And it's not going to be a fun time. You know, you don't want to see Kashtira Fenrir in every deck every round. You don't want to see tier element every round, but this is the format that we're in. And what I wonder about too is something like, what we haven't talked about in a while, Master Shits, uh, aka Master Duel. But if you're new to the channel, we call it Master Shits until it's a good game, which, spoiler alert, it never will be, um, as we all like to say together. You know, I wonder what's going to happen in that game, if it's going to die even more. Because imagine what's going to happen in Master Shits once Tier Element and the Ashizu cards get added in there. Man, people are going to be rage quitting that game uninstalling it so quick. Oh, it's going to be atrocious. That's going to be really disgusting. So, guys, let me know what you think. Are you preparing for this Tier 0 format? Or are you just taking a break? Or are you just watching some of my old content since I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years on and off? I think that that's how you should be spending your time much better. <laughs> but all jokes aside, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next video.